Hey everyone, this is Blake from Blake Jackson Creative, and this is a Photoshop tutorial that will walk you through a few of my most used editing tips when retouching a portrait. The first thing I do when I edit a photo is I use the Liquify tool to reshape the image. I go to Filter, Liquify. I use the Forward Warp tool and adjust the size to shift around any pixels necessary. Next, I brighten the eyes by creating a new blending layer set to soft light. I brush along the eye whites with a white paintbrush to brighten them, leaving the corners of the eyes untouched. To remove redness, I use a lasso tool to select and adjust the whites of the eye. Using the new hue and saturation adjustment layer, I only desaturate the red. To clean up the edges, I paint white on the provided layer mask in order to spread the adjustment. Then I'll remove any blemishes just by using the healing brush. Next, I add shadows and highlights by making a new layer set to the soft light blending mode. Just paint with white for highlights and black for any shadows you want. Make sure the brush is set to about 30% opacity. To soften the skin, I add a new layer. Then I go over the face with a brush tool set to 30% opacity and 30% flow. I frequently push I to sample the color of the skin tone. After going over the face, I apply an Add Noise filter set to about 5% on the airbrush layer. This adds realistic facial texture so you avoid that plastic glassy look. Next, I readjust the shadows and highlights again to fine tune what I've done before. change the color of the hair, I use the brush tool, select the color, and paint on a new layer set to the color blending mode. To better define the lips, I dodge and burn them to bring out the highlights and the shadows. photo with that colorized finish, I go to Layer, New Fill Layer, and choose a solid color, usually blue or orange. I set the mode to overlay and the opacity to 70%, then I adjust the colors as necessary. Sometimes you'll have to sharpen the image to add more definition. By selecting the visible photo layer, I go to Filter, Sharpen, and then Unsharp Mask. I adjust the settings as necessary. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Check out more of my work on my website, sirblake.com.